Sag. Sag. Play these cards. Welcome to your new moon in Gemini, May 30th reading. What you want to talk about? I'll be flipping my whole deck, bro. This card's looking crazy. Sag, what you want to talk about? What you want to talk about? That was the first. What do you want to talk about? Nope. Stop playing yourself. Damn, I'll push that one back in. Okay. How many is that? Ooh. Oh, that's three. Bruh. Okay. I thought these were all... Shit. All right, fire signs. No, that's not a fire sign. It was air. All right. Well, I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hold oh, Sag. Hold on. position you have the two of wands press the position you have the knight of cups and in the future position you have the nine of pentacles i should you not these two in this sequence mirror leave okay mirror libra's reading so in a past position you have the two of wands This card signifies spending a lot of time contemplating. So although it's a wands, which is fire, which is action, <laughs> which is sag, for the most part, you're stuck in your head. You understand you have choices, but instead of taking uh, forward movement, you don't really it's not that you don't really know where to go you're sitting in your mind on some emotional shit like you're sitting back and you're just stuck on fantasizing there we go you're fantasizing on what could be and and you're not necessarily taking actions this was the past so you were i don't want to say stuck but you weren't doing shit um but you weren't enjoying it so in the present position, you have the Knight of Cups, which is about action, quickly, enthusiastically, emotionally, full of feelings. However, with this card, it, it also represents a tendency to um, take those actions without really thinking. And that's not necessarily something that's good. Now, it's wonderful to go off feelings, emotions, spirit, whatever you want to term it, however you want to see it. But when you don't incorporate logic and thinking, that's not good. But clearly you have done that. You spent a lot of time in the past stuck analyzing. So whatever it is that you're ready to act on passionately, blah, 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 go for it because you're going to have the ultimate success you're going to have you're going to manifest from this your actions abundance um prosperity shit that you can sit back and relish you can sit back and actually rest on your laurels for a while and and bask that's the term i was looking for 
bask in it. God damn, Sag. This is amazing. <laughs> this is better than Libra's because Libra was like, it's better. It's fucking better. Queen of the Moon Oracle. What advice do we have for Sag? What guidance do we have for Sag? Hmm? Queen of the Moon Oracle. What advice, guidance do we have for our fire? Sag. Come on, pluck, pluck one. Stop playing with me. All right. You got three more, and that's that. You just throw this pop up sometimes. I have weird times. Was that three, y'all? I think that was three. I was not paying attention. And that's three, too. All right, so we're going to go with release only thing I can think of is release being stuck and move and see yeah, radical that's not radical action but it's still action yeah release let go go <laughs> let it go it's time to release anything that does not serve you. Old negative habits do not engage you. Old negative habits do not engage you anymore as the payoff is not enough. You are ready to make room for bigger, brighter, more aligned things. Sad your affirmation is. I freely release what I know. I freely release what I no longer need. There is a payoff if we decide to finally release something we no longer need. The payoff is as individual as you are, but there will be a universal feeling of making space for something new. <laughs> the secret to effectively releasing what no longer serves you is, in fact, knowing that the payoff will indeed be worth it, which makes it super important to know what, pos what that positive payoff may be. For example, giving up a habit such as smoking... <laughs> Which we know is detrimental to our body and that it is cancer causing, among many other things, has payoffs. What the most important payoff is for you may be different from someone else who is giving up the habit. But it needs to be clear to your mind, body and spirit. You might give up so that, yeah, you might give up so that your body feels healthier generally or that your children and those around you aren't exposed to smoke and chemicals that you live longer or that all that money you're wasting on cigarettes could be used for something that is more in line with what you really want to use such as travel or a home or a home all of which are real payoffs for which it is worth releasing the habit and magic in particular in spellcraft <laughs> the art of release after raising power is vital to its effectiveness should we raise power without sending it out to the universe or deities in a focused way it remains stagnant or stuck this can cause us to feel overwhelmed if that last paragraph doesn't apply let it fucking fly guys sag the only thing i can think of is release this stuck state it's no longer time, and I'm assuming you've passed this because this is the past. It's no longer, ugh, it's no longer time to deliberate on the what ifs, fantasizing about what ifs, the outcomes, so on and so forth. It's time to act. It's time to act from a logical plus emotional state. You got to incorporate that balance. And from doing such, you're going to have the outcome that you see in your mind that you've probably been fantasizing about all this time. Go fucking for it. This is a banging reading. You're fucking welcome. Get off my table. <laughs> Bye for now.